Attention comedy musicians and comedy music fans! The Logan Awards are taking open nominations for Outstanding Comedy Songs and Videos released last year for this year's awards. Did you release a comedy song or music video last year? Or have a favorite comedy song or video that was released last year? Then nominate it for the Logan Awards today! What are the Logan Awards? To put it simply, they're the Comedy Music Awards, presented annually by the Funny Music Project and are presented in three categories. Outstanding Original Comedy Song, Outstanding Parody Song, and Outstanding Comedy Music Video. If you have a comedy song that was released last year that you'd like to nominate for this year's awards, head to loganawards.com and click the Nominations tab at the top. There is a minimum and maximum of five nominations per person. Hurry! Nominations close this year on May 28th. For more details about Logan himself, the awards, and more, check out loganawards.com. Help us commemorate the year's best comedy songs and music videos with a trophy, the way they do with every other form of entertainment. But if you want your favorites to win, you have to nominate them by May 28th. Get your nominations in now at loganawards.com, brought to you by thefump.com. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and this week I'm reacting to three new videos. Uh, well, new-ish, I should say. I'm reacting to two songs by Brian David Gilbert and the newest song by Dan Bull. Uh, these, uh, these songs are all of varying... Topics. No, nothing really is connected to anything like I usually do. It's just some songs that I've been trying to get to and haven't had a chance to until now, so that's what we're doing this week. Um, for those of you who are part of my Patreon and voted on songs to be reacted to, those will be coming up later. Uh, the video after this one, actually. I'm just trying to play catch-up for all the weeks that I missed. Uh, so that one will be caught up to next week. If you aren't part of my Patreon, you can join my Patreon and vote on the songs that you'd like to see me react to. Uh, I have a poll going right now where we're choosing stupendium songs to react to. But before we get to those, obviously this video is about songs by Brian David Gilbert and Dan Bull. The first one is uh, Brian David Gilbert is in a boy band, or is a boy band I guess you could say called Twins Squared, Two Wins, and this is called Just One Day. And then we're going to have uh, Dan Bull's newest song about uh, Just Die Already, the uh, old people death simulator, uh, brought to you by the makers of Goat Simulator. And then another Brian David Gilbert song about liking birds. Because comedy music, that's the thing, man. Anything can be a topic in comedy music. That's what makes it comedy. That's the thing I love about comedy music so much, is that you can write a love song in comedy music. Everybody writes a love song, but comedy music can only be, you know, is the only genre where it can be a love song to tacos. So, all that out of the way. Pardon me if you if you heard that. That came out of nowhere. I I burped a little. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's dive into this boy band pastiche with uh, Brian David Gilbert. Come on, girl. And I'm, squared. Got a lot to tell you. and I'm already digging the very 90s boy band aesthetic with the uh, the font. <laughs> you could it's 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 weird that you can already tell what what era they're going for just from the font. Um but uh <laughs> and they're called Twin Squared. I was right. It's not just how it's spelled out. All right. Come on, girl. Twin squared. At sign TBD. Junior. <laughs> it took me a minute to try to figure out what J U U N Y U R would spell. Junior. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and Dale. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Already, we, uh, uh, we've got your typical uh, boy band mock names where we're trying to make ourselves sound cool because we got a nickname. And then there's just Dale. Dale doesn't have slick hair or buy high fashion or anything. He's just a dude in a dress shirt and tie. I, I dig it. And I know what I am living for. 
the typical boy band fluff. I think it's I think it's Bo Burnham who does a a dissection of of modern pop songs about romance where like I'm going to describe you generically so that anybody can fit into this idea of the song. <laughs> and uh, it's clear that uh, he's playing all the parts in this. When we met, that wig guessed, is we killing me. So close, when I forget, I look in your eyes and I know what I am living for. Mm -hmm. Just getting a suit on. With just me and most of my bros. How could it be that I could be so blind to the love that my life had in store? Had in store. Also, I'm kind of angry that he sings so good. I'm not angry, angry, like actually filled with rage or anything like that. But it's, it's always, uh, it's always something that when like a comedian or, or comedy performer does something and then they go into the music section and they're actually skilled in that. That's a lot of things that a lot of people don't realize is what makes comedy music good is, yeah, most of the people who perform comedy music actually have some skill and it's a bias that I myself share because I'm like I never really expect it until it happens and I'm like oh yeah why wouldn't it be Give it up for one day without Dale. He's the outlier of the group. He's the one in a suit rather than being trendy and hip. And yeah, he's like, wait, they mean four, not three. There's 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 four of us, not three of us. So they're all three of them are singing about the fourth member. Genius. Uh, also, I, I, I hear just one day and I, I try not to think about one more day. Uh, or from Spider-Man comics because uh, that was a thing. Uh, anyway, sorry, I'm showing my nerd colors again. Here we go. It kind of seems like it was about. He was talking about a different Dale. <laughs> to the song ad side. When we started this band, our mom insisted that we include Dale. So now we're stuck with someone who brags about suits he got on sale. It's <laughs> My mom said we should include Dale, and he brags about suits he got on sale. And, yeah, so they're all all four related. They're all twins. Twins squared. That's why they're called twins squared, because it's two twins and two other twins. So two twins squared. Four people. I can understand jokes. Uh, yeah, so that's why that explains why they all are played by him, because they all look alike. Uh, this is, why should I explain a joke like that? Because this is a reaction show, that's why. I'm glad I'm answering my own questions, aren't you? Because I can't hear what you say to me. I can only read the comments later after I've already done this. Over-explaining is fun! It's like Dale, we can buy at full price. Actually, our budget isn't that good this year. And he's always on the <laughs> case about the tweet things I buy. He calls them impractical, even though they're super fly. It's like, can't you see? We're never going to die. That's false. That's false. <laughs> Admittedly, a lot of the songs that we react to on this channel, they'll have the lyrics at the bottom, and this one obviously doesn't. Uh, I, I don't usually put the lyrics in my comedy songs either, but I, I, I do admit that there is a bonus to doing that for people who aren't used to paying hardcore attention to lyrics, and that's the thing with comedy music, is that is 
definitely something that is what pushes the genre is a hard focus on the lyrics because that's where the comedy comes in. Uh, and, and to the artists that do do that, just so that you don't miss the jokes, it's appreciated. Um, but there are certain artists who feel that uh, that I might spoil the joke. Uh, and I can see why they would not put that in the thing. Also, it doesn't really fit this genre. So if you're doing a genre song in a certain style, uh, that's a comedy song that doesn't usually have lyrics on screen. It kind of breaks the immersion that you're watching what's supposed to be a, what most people would say, a regular song, but it happens to be funny. So that kind of kills the illusion there that they're trying to portray with having it be in that certain style. Uh, again, that's why I'm reacting to this as a comedy musician. I'm looking at this from the perspective of someone who does this and reacting to it in that kind. It's something that I admit... I don't do a whole lot of when I do the Stupendium stuff because just his production value tends to blow me away so much that uh, I tend to forget to go into that. <laughs> but uh, speaking of production value, this is already fantastically composed as far as emulating the style of a boy band video. And uh, one of the things I do keep saying in this reaction series is that the music video should elevate the song and it's definitely kind of bringing up like if you were just to listen to this you just keep hearing Dale coming in but having it cut to everybody and the way that they're cutting back to Dale really kind of pushes the joke further I say joke or juke whatever and also sorry for the audio noise suddenly AC came on We bought a hot tub made of tweed, and Dale is sensible there. That is a bad investment. And also, sure, just, just green screen that in, because where are you going to actually get a hot tub made of tweed for a comedy video? That tweed tub, if we could have just one day, just one day, we'd give it up for one day without day after day. I've been warning you guys. <laughs> Uh, I'm not paying attention to Dale. I'm going to, to make a smoothie while you sing your verse. Oh, that's an amazing burn to someone who is... Uh, j j who is yourself, technically, since you're playing all four parts. But just... Uh, that's quality editing and just qua a really funny gag. That's great. I'm sorry. Twin squared minus one. <laughs> Please send some money, Ma. Can you imagine how much it would suck if that uh, people discovered they were not in the band anymore while making the music video for the song? Like, you recorded your part, and you're not sure what you're singing. Like, you're singing along, but, like, you didn't know the lyrics to that they were singing that were going to be about you? That's the, the weird suspension of disbelief that has to go on with any kind of thing like this. But uh, uh, that's what makes it funny, you know? It's, it's that, that separation of reality for just a moment where you're like, wait, this is, this is how you're telling me I'm not in the band anymore? That's brilliant. I love it. And that's a lot of patrons. Bravo onto that song. I, uh, again, uh, I don't know if I said this at the beginning. I say again when I, I don't know if I even said it. I'm not familiar with a lot of Brian David Gilbert's work. Uh, this is the first song of his that I've heard, but I somebody mentioned this to me to, to react to, and uh, We Like Watching Birds is coming up later. But uh, yeah, 
that uh, that was that was fantastic. I knew of him, but I wasn't really super familiar with his work. I know that he worked for like Polygon uh, and a couple other uh, sites, um, but uh, wasn't super super familiar with his work. But that was fantastic. And uh, the single <laughs> for just one day by Twins Squared, the artwork goes over Dale's face. That's uh, that's just genius. That's bravo, guys. That's fantastic. And now we get to Just Die Already, a song about old people by Dan Bull. Like I said, this is based on the Just Die Already game, actually probably sponsored by Just Die Already. I'm pretty sure this is uh, listed as an advert for that game. Uh, like the last Dan Bull song we reacted to, uh, less new one, not not the little nightmares one we just did earlier this week, but uh, the the last one I didn't know for the game. No, uh, that one was sponsored by the uh, the company. This one I believe is that as well. So let's dive into this. Yeah, this one's for the OGs, <laughs> old geezers and fogies. We're about to discuss some heavy topics. So I might open with a real life joke, right? Real life is a real life road light. There's no F5 key to rewind what we don't like, so we spend most of our time just hoping that we won't die. Honestly, that's true. I do love the shots of Dan uh, playing the game in real life. Just walking into traffic, looking at his phone, or putting silverware in the microwave. That's genius stuff. Bravo. So when I look around and see someone that's elderly yeah. I tell myself that we the winning life or found a cheat And get that treated as some selfish oh. rich felt to leave Just a running pair of legs hit, hit F5 to rewind That was a great line, I should have said that earlier But that's that's good stuff And most of the time just hoping that we won't die So when I look around and see someone that's elderly yeah. I tell Bam. myself that we the winning life or found a cheat And get that treated as some selfish rich who felt to leave Who somehow I've stayed there welcome with the power to breathe When I've come around the OGs, old geezers, fogies. Ah, that's good. Bolted up in the old folks' home with no keys. It must be lonely up atop the holy escalator. But eventually we're each the next to least ejaculator. Being senior seems to me between being tuckered out and realizing there's so much to not give a fuck about. Been a long time, been a long time, been a long, lonely, 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 lonely. Oh, electricity. So yeah, the point of the game is uh, you're an old person who just uh, has, has dropped all cares and is trying to off yourself. Just die already. And it's it's an open world uh, simulation game where you're just running through. You choose a different old person avatar, like a character in the game, and you run around and complete tasks while trying to creatively kill yourself. Yeah. I mean, hey, you know, it's a game. It seems fun. And it's also from the people who brought you Goat Simulator, which is already weird game so this is another weird game by them i like weird games i like games that don't take themselves too seriously and have humor in them already and it makes it helps for making a comedy song about it i dig it and senior seems to me between being tucked out and realizing there's so much to not give a fuck about in a long time in a long time in a long lonely 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 it's been a long time in a long time in a long lonely 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 jet tax for old people going folk i hope you all pray for me because i've no hope of growing old gracefully life's a fatal disease so i'm just waiting to see what exciting places it might be taking me i'm going to be your no ap that's op hope to be as old as gandalf and obi-wan kenobi oap i don't know what that means op overpowered uh not not super sure what the oap Fate means so i'm just waiting to see what exciting places it might be taking me i'm sure someone in the comments will tell me what oap means but I'm going to be your no AP, that's OP. Hope to be as old as Gandalf and Obi Wan Kenobi. Oh, Living is so me, I'm never gonna get enough. Although I won't reach the 127 club. <laughs> 127 club, that's a great line. For those of you who don't know what the 27 club is, the 27 club is is uh, 
not really a club, but is a list of people who were famous and who passed away at the age of 27. People like uh, Jim Morrison from The Doors, Kurt Cobain, uh, various and sundry others, usually due to uh, drug overdose or other hard living exercises. Uh, but yeah, people who didn't make it past 27. It's kind of tragic, but at the same time, there's always gallows humor, and that's laughing at the morbidity of, of life and death. Uh, so yeah, making 127 Club being really, really old, but then dying. I mean, that's what happens. That's kind of what life is, is living until you die. That's deep. Old people are just previously youngsters who just leveled up. That's a great line too. It's true. Oh, it's coming out of the dumpster. <laughs> Just did he did he swan dive Assassin's Creed style into the dumpster? Was that what that was? And silverware into the just running past uh, giant crabs and having your body eviscerated that way. This is an, it, it, the the body deformation reminds me of a, another game, uh, Guts and Glory, where you're going through obstacle courses that have lots of landmines and you're going on like a bike or or in like a little red wagon or something. It's a, it's a, that's a super fun game too that doesn't take itself seriously and the body dismemberment is what makes the humor. That's a weird thing to say out loud. Just running around punching people. Nice. More caution. <laughs> caution sign, you'd think it's a wet floor, and then a piano drops on him. Again, the video amplifying the song. Love it. Just because there's nothing left to prove Doesn't mean there's nothing left to do but A season pass If we increase it's for your season pass To give a season pass If you're a centuries who season pass Put to nice. vision, don't repeat the past You need some greener grass They plan to treat you as a weeded field That need receded fast I see you creeping off your peak productive beaten past And even keeping up with previous achievements Seems to drag I don't believe that each of us can be surpassed And beat the bar I mean it's been an eon since you've even had a decent shot Damn that whole verse was fire, and then that last burn was spicy. Hells yeah. Keeping off your peak productive beats and fast, and even keeping up with previous achievements seems to drag. I don't believe that each of us can be surprised by the bars. I mean, it's been an eon since you've even had a decent shot. Another day they might discover me in glacier life, or maybe I'll be vaporized. And now I've got a ray of light. Descendants will remember whether I blue gray or hazel eyes. But it's irrelevant, man, it's whatever fate decides. So I'll just say this, mate, whatever may arise, I'll stay alive till the day I die. Huh? I'll stay alive till the day I die. Yeah. I mean, we all will. I think that's the, the irony is the point, but it's a fantastic line. And then you think about it and it's common sense. But at the same time, common sense isn't that common. So I dig it. I dig creatively deep sounding and yet amazingly stupid lines that happen to be both. It's fun for me. I like that kind of thing. 
Car. <laughs> oh, the floaties. <laughs> Bravo. Another great song. I will say, yet another song by Dan uh, that makes me want to get the game. <laughs> I, I've seen it. It's on sale right now uh, on PS4 because it just came out for PS4. It's on Switch as well. Obviously, it's on PC. Uh, and uh, it, it hasn't been getting great reviews, but it still looks fun. I, I think I might pick it up still. So bravo to Dan for selling me on that. Uh, and uh, another just... Fantastic song, and Old People Mayhem, Sandbox, Just Die Already. Fantastic. And I dig the whistling at the end. Nice little fade out. That's good. I dig it. And finally, we come up to the last Brian David Gilbert song, We Like Watching Birds. This is a short one, but this one came up in my feed and I went, oh, this is a song? Add to my list. Uh, I love comedy music in all forms, so, uh, you know, we're gonna check it out. Uh, now. We like watching birds. It's a pastime that brings us so much joy. We like watching birds, and we watch them all of the time. From the sparrow to the hawk, robins, green herons, and ducks. Oh yes, we like watching birds, and we like for you to watch too. I can almost see a nature show doing this. It's like, hi, this is me and my partner, and we watch birds, and we think we're clever, so here's a song. Uh, it kind of, like, there's a, there's a band called the Eels, or actually I think it's just called Eels. Uh, some people may know them as having, um, My Beloved Monster and Me from the Shrek soundtrack. Uh, but they had a lot of hits in the 90s. They had, uh, Novocaine for the Soul was their first big hit, and they've had a lot of, a lot of good rock songs and stuff, and they're a great band, one of my favorite bands. And, uh, they have a song called I Like Birds. And it's not really a novelty song, but, you know, you, the more you listen to the lyrics, you're like, this is kind of a funny song. It's kind of a little weird departure from a lot of the stuff they do, because their stuff's quirky, but not outright funny. But uh, that's a funny song to me, anyway, and that reminds me of this, because it's about liking birds. It was a long tangent to get to my point, which I do a lot. Yes, I'm sure there will be comments here that say I talk a lot. Duh. It's my problem. I, I have that problem, and it's a reaction show, so it's my opportunity to talk a lot about a thing I like, comedy music. Thank you for joining me. We like watching birds as they watch us back from in the sky. We like Giant. watching birds and our neighbor across the street. Eagles, <laughs> secrets, crows, and all. Wait, wait a second. I have to rewind that to see what that thing the neighbor was across the street. And they're also on a giant hair that doesn't have you know, bunny ears watching birds as they watch us back from in the sky we like watching birds and, and our, our neighbor, neighbor across the street Greckman's eagle that is a bunny can fly faster than two miles an hour extremely aggressive that is that is not an eagle that is a rabbit secrets, crows, and the greatest horned owl is a uh, a stone pig, a bubbo, bubbo, bubbo. Eats whatever they want, thinks they're better than you, and is probably right about that. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh, that jumped me back the same amount of time. I was trying to hit the different button. Egrets, which is turtles. The Yuan short egret, found in shallow bodies of water, hates the game of horseshoes. Crow. 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 They actually got a crow for that one, though. So bravo to them. Crows are easy to spot. Were all those birds CG? <laughs> and a giant statue of a bird modern art thing. Oh yes, we like watching birds and stealing chicken bones from the garbage and applebee's. We <laughs> and stealing chicken bones from the garbage behind Applebee's. 
Wow. That's fantastic. It's not quite bird demic. They tell us what they have seen. I, just the the shot composition of the two of them standing next to each other, just simply staring straight into the camera and saying it, and their pointed choreography of this is the moment we move uh, is very cable access, and I dig that, uh, because it's very, like, you know, playing the part of somebody who's not an actor. I, w for, I was talking about that with my wife the other day. I, that's a form of comedy that I really appreciate uh, when it's done well, is, is when an actor who is a person who can act, playing somebody who can't act, and, like, trying to be an actor when they're clearly not, uh, it's it's a form of comedy that I always appreciated. Like, you know, these ads is like, Hello, and welcome to our mall. We enjoy fine dining. You know, it's just something about that that always strikes me as funny. The common grackle, the quiz calculus, quiz cula, quiz calus, quiz uh, the, 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 the The genus names are there, are, I'm sure, fake, because... Crow, crow, crow. Obviously. And the budo, 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 or whatever it was. Saw some cool worms this morning. Feels really pretty in this tree, but isn't going to make a big deal out of it. Grackle. This one saw a whole bunch of worms. This one saw a white collar crime. <laughs> the one saw a bunch of worms. This one saw a white collar crime. Blue Jay likes to mimic hot calls. Is currently a main witness in a high profile embezzlement case. <laughs> Throwing jokes in the video, man. I, I dig it. Oh yes, we like watching birds. And our bird gods grateful we do. And our bird gods grateful we do. Yes. Oh my, oh. The bones. <laughs> Back. We go out to the park every day. We like watching birds, which is good because we have no choice. All the fish. <laughs> <laughs> which is good because we have no choice. Uh, again, the whole subversion of expectation of what the song's going to be and having those dark moments come out of nowhere and then back to reality of the happiness of the song again genius genius stuff love that and that again that's the thing you can only do in a comedy song uh american goldfish Mol goldfinch molts twice a year let me use their truck to move one time oh, that's very that's a nice person nice nice bird person we like watching birds we go out to the park every day we like watching birds which is good because we have no choice all the finches geese and swans are just messengers of our god <laughs> all the finches geese and swan are the messengers of our god wow that's so good day, we like watching birds which is good because we have no choice all the finches geese, geese the canadian goose uh, honestly, they get more hate than they deserve. Excess for Sebastian. He deserves it. Mute Swan, usually made for life, went off the grid in 2014 and says it was the best decision of their life. I know I missed ones in the beginning. I'm, I'm not going to go back. I'm sorry. You can watch the original video without me talking all over it. Link is in the description. All right. Are just messengers of our God. Oh yes, we like watching birds, and the birds like watching you too. Oh dear, Karen Hahn and Brian David Gilbert, bravo guys! Nice, short but sweet, but packed with comedy song. Excellent. You love to see it. I love to see it. Uh, oh, and just the dead-eyed stare as they freeze for the camera. Very reminiscent of Police Squad which was what the, the TV show that spawned into uh, the Naked Gun series of films. They would end it every time with a typical freeze frame, but instead of being in camera, they paused it. It's just 
no, everybody just held their position. And usually uh, one person would start to falter or something else comedic would happen with them holding the pause. And they, they did that there just now as the, the credits scrolled by of all the patrons. And they're just sit, standing there trying not to blink at you and blinking and holding their pose. Bravo. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Really, really dig the comedy there. Uh, if you like the way that I dissect uh, comedy songs and uh, just comedy in general, or the way that I talk about these songs, you might like my music as well. So please check out the links uh, in the description for the song that I play at the, the end of the credits here, uh, as well as these videos themselves without me talking over them. Uh, and check out some of the other videos here on my channel, not just the reaction stuff that I do, but I also do music, like I said. Uh, if you really want to help out the channel, like, share, comment, subscribe, and really, really uh, help out the channel if you join the Patreon, which uh, gets you access to these videos early, as well as a new song from me every single month. Uh, thanks so much for checking this one out. I really appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye. Get that song stuck in my head. We like watching birds. Yeah. Just turn to me one, my life's at an end Goodbye to Sci-Fi Channel, getting wasted with my friends